The 2022 season was a very special one. We had a lot of success and all of our riders could make a big step in terms of performance and results. But on the other side, we had the case with Matthias that made uh, especially August and September very hard for the whole team. I start with Alessandra. Her season was incredible. She started uh, way back in the UCI World Ranking and right now she is the new number one um, in the UCI Women's World Ranking. So I think that says, says enough. She started furious already in January with winning the Cyclocross Swiss Champion title. And then she was very constant through the whole season. Every race she did, she was in the top 10. Every World Cup, every single World Cup, she was there in the top 10. And then, yeah, she started constant in Brazil with eight plays. And every month she got a little bit faster. And in Andorra, she could finally win her first Short Track World Cup in 2022. Not long later, in Snowshoe, she won her first cross country. World Cup. So that was a big milestone in her career. But also in June she could already win the national title cross-country in the elite women category. She just had almost a perfect season till, till August already. But then she started to focus on the overall World Cup and yeah, she won the overall World Cup, the XCC World Cup plus also the cross-country World Cup, which is yeah. No one ever done this. It was the first short track World Cup ever. And uh, yeah, she wrote history this year. And on top of this, she also won a silver medal in the short track World Championships in Leger. So yeah, I would say awesome season. Yeah, I, we can't wait for next year. Vital was the first under 23 rider in 2019 who joined our structure and yeah, I'm very proud of him what he did this year. He started his season uh, yeah, with, with some struggles in the first races but then already in Alpstadt he could do his uh, personal best World Cup result and finish top 20. One week later in Nove Mesto he finished 10th after a, yeah, a very strong race and a very constant race and a really strong last lap. And then I think he started to realize what he is capable of. And uh, after uh, some weeks of training in Leogang at the short track, he, he had his first World Cup podium with a third place. So yeah, that, but that was not, not everything for him. He won the silver medal at the Swiss Championships. And then he had his best World Cup result of the season at the Andorra World Cup with a sixth place, very close to the top five. And during the whole season, he was very constant at the smaller races in Switzerland, the C1 and uh, HC races. And he won the overall classification in the Swiss Cup. So I'm very proud of Vital and uh, very happy that he's on board also in 2023. Luke is the youngest member of our team. Sometimes we forget that he is only in the second year under 23 and has two more to go. He had a really good winter training and uh, he was well prepared for the season. But then he struggled a little bit with his health, with uh, Covid and then he couldn't go to Brazil. So yeah, he lost points. He, he, he didn't have the perfect start position for the European World Cups, but already in the first race in Alpstadt, he could ride and pass a lot of riders and finished on the sixth position. Then. In the Swiss Championships, he was fighting for the title in the under 23 category till the last lap and he won the silver medal. And in months and then he could make his career best World Cup result with a fifth place. And yeah, I'm sure we will see a lot of uh, good results next year from Luke. And yeah, he's one of my most favorite riders to watch. He has such a cool style on the bike and he's such a really cool, cool guy. And yeah, really happy that he's on board next year again. Then about Matthias, he had uh, his best season ever in 2021, winning the silver medal in the Olympic Games, 
World Championships and winning the overall Cross Country World Cup. But then he had, he had a tough winter and uh, he was mentally a little bit tired from everything, from all the travels and all the pressure he had in 2021. And I think he, or, he, he still felt that a little bit in the spring in 2022. But after uh, a lot of good training hours, he, he was already consistent in Brazil with a top 10 results in, in the short track and in the cross country. In Alpstadt, he was there fighting for, for the victory and uh, yeah, losing the race with a flat tire. But then he, he did a, a small rest and came back to the Swiss Championships and winning there uh, with an impressive style. Same one week later in Leogang, he dominated there the short track and the cross country race, winning both of them. Came in Lenzerheide again, great performance, finishing third in the short track and also third in the cross country race even uh, with the crash in the last lap. He won the week later the short track in Andorra, but the day after he got tested positive on COVID. So he had to sit out the cross country race on Sunday. And then we decided that we skipped the North American World Cups with him. And just when he wanted to come back for Europeans and the World Championships, he got the information from the Swiss Sport Integrity that they had an abnormal finding in his urine from the Swiss Championships. And then everything changed. It was a very tough period for the whole team. For sure, for Matt, it was the most difficult period in his whole life. We got the good news last week that Matthias, professional suspended, is lifted. He can start again to race and to be part of our team. And I'm very happy about this. I want to say a big thanks to all the partners, sponsors, suppliers, workers, staff and everyone behind our structure that support us so well that we can do the job we love to do and that we can make the best possible platform for our riders to achieve the best results possible. Thank you and see you in 2023.